Hello, so it's your BB Boss buddy Luke Kempner here with your second Saturday session because a lot has happened since the last time we talked. So let's take a look back at some of the highlights. So Anamelia left and she was a, like, a brilliant housemaid, but she could have left her crystals behind because the house has got a little bit intense since she's gone. There's something about her. I don't mean that in a bitchy way, but at the end of the day, I think when she leaves now, it's going to bring other people out of their shell a bit. She was involved in everything. You couldn't, if, if there was an argument, it had to be with her. The crystals are very grounding for your energy and your spirit levels. They keep you calm and focused. And don't steal my coins. Who would do that? Where's the integrity? And it's not the first time we've had paranormal activity in the house, but now it's Cameron who is having visions from the other side. Woo! You know, I said to you about the ghost. Yeah. Did I tell you, it literally touched me on the foot last night. What? The ghost did. It touched me on the I'm foot. Sure it won't make? No. I think it's a poltergeist. Look at that light moving next to you as well. I don't know. This is f***ed up. These I'm going to cry. Still this house is f***ed up. I'm not being haunted in here. Like, I'm never going to be a vegan and I'm never going to be into spiritual stuff like that. Like, I'm definitely not, like, 100%. But I definitely saw a banshee shape like Louis F in the bathroom. <laughs> and that man, Cameron, was a talking point elsewhere when he offloaded his feelings about Kay. He's not really enjoying Kay's vegan evangelism, is he? Evangelism. She's trying to get me to react. It ain't going to work. So you're really not buying the lessons to less and sweet? You're really not buying that? Uh, holy shit, I am totally buying that. <laughs> Three different occasions now, she's putting a little sly dig. If she was so all pure and nice, that wouldn't be happening. Okay, I didn't notice. But you didn't notice her knowing, she does. What do you actually bring to the conversation? Even a stuffed cartoon chicken had a life once because it's got feathers that were probably plucked from a real chicken and, oh, it's all getting too much. Guys, can we all sit around and talk about this for several hours? Fake tears. And then we turn to Lewis G, who stole the limelight on eviction night number one when he went to cook some mints and he ruined it because of cross-contamination. It's cross-contaminated. Big Brother said it's cross-contaminated. Right, you've cross-contaminated it. What are you doing? I no! made that sound earlier. No, 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 it's mine. Stop yeah, this is mine, leave me alone. Lewis, you're asked to go on the bed. I'm all of you. Lewis, leave my mints alone. Seriously, bro, they just told me. No, it's all cross- What are you doing? Lewis, oh my Lewis. god! Lewis. It's so oh my Lewis. god! It's being cross contaminated! Oh my god! I can't believe you trucked my mints away. I thought you were cool people. Oh my gosh. There goes my nosh. My mints will be alright if I give it a wash. Yeah. And finally, just before we say goodbye to Anemia, Talia made an appearance and it didn't do a lot for Lewis F. celibacy, did it? Don't laugh. I love her. I'm not. Don't laugh. Don't. This is this is very sensual. <gasps> I, I love her for this. I don't know what's going on. What are you doing, Anamelia? I've, I've told you I'm celibate and, and, and you're purging my, my sacral chakra like there's, there's no tomorrow. I can't deal. All this sensual feminine alpha stuff is, is getting on me wick. What a week it's been. Here's to the next one. See you next week for another Saturday session. There's nothing in it.